This training package explores low cycle fatigue simulation in Abacus. It includes four workshops, ranging from simple 2D and 3D fatigue problems using XFEM to delamination analysis with CVVT. You'll also receive Python scripts for post-processing the results. To support your learning, over 60 minutes of theoretical content is provided, explaining everything from Paris law to the key parameters required for Abacus simulation. All right, let's take a look at what exactly is covered in this lesson and what needs it's going to address for you. As you can see, we started from the basics. First, we discussed what fatigue is, why it's important, and how it leads to damage. Then, we covered the different types of fatigue, including low cycle and high cycle fatigue, and explained their differences, with a deeper focus on low cycle fatigue. In the third section, we introduced how to use the direct cycle solver for fatigue modeling in Abacus. Next, we explored the differences between fatigue modeling in bulk materials and at interfaces, and how Abacus can be used to simulate such scenarios. In the final step, which is the core of the lesson, we presented the Paris law equations used for simulating low cycle fatigue at interfaces and explained how to define the required parameters in the Abacus INP file. By the end of this lesson, you'll have a solid understanding of the theory and how to use Abacus for fatigue simulations, and you'll be ready to move into the workshops with confidence, knowing you've covered the necessary prerequisites. In the first workshop, we provided a step-by-step -step video tutorial on modeling delamination at an interface under fatigue loading. This workshop uses the direct cyclic solver in Abacus. A periodic load is applied through an arm, allowing the simulation of progressive delamination. Additionally, a supplementary PDF is included, covering the complete formulation and detailing how to calculate the necessary parameters for the Paris law. In the first workshop, since the focus was on interface delamination, we used the CVVT method. In the second workshop, however, we'll demonstrate how to simulate crack growth in a 2D plate under fatigue loading using the XFEM method in Abacus. The model is a rectangular plate with an initial crack that gradually propagates under the applied cyclic loading. This example also uses the direct cyclic solver and the entire simulation process is taught step-by-step step through a video tutorial. In Workshop 3, instead of performing fatigue analysis in 2D, we made it a bit more complex and demonstrated how to analyze a fatigue-prone sample under cyclic loading in 3D. Like the previous example, XFEM was used for crack modeling. A step-by-step -step simulation guide is also provided in video format. I believe the final workshop will be very useful and relevant to many of you, even if you have previously worked on fatigue analysis in Abacus. In this workshop, we provide two Python scripts. The first script allows you to automatically extract the crack length over time in an XFEM fatigue problem, eliminating the need for manual extraction. The second script calculates the alternating stress for each cycle in fatigue problems and saves the results in a CSV file. There is also a similar script that, instead of alternating stress, automatically calculates and saves the mean stress for each cycle. Given Abacus's limitations in providing these outputs, this workshop can be especially valuable. To demonstrate their effectiveness, we tested these scripts on the results from Workshop 2. Additionally, two PDF files are provided that explain the steps in detail, block by block. I hope this video has provided you with all the information you need about the training package in the best possible way. For more details, feel free to visit the product page linked in the description. To stay updated with our future videos, we recommend subscribing to our YouTube channel.